Hi, my name's Cameron Carlson with Anime on Location. I'm here at Animaticon 20, 2018 with DJ E-Tank. How are you doing? Very good. How are you doing today? I'm all right. I'm a little tired. So how did you get started in the world of music? Um, I initially started uh, playing in bands when I was younger, in my teenage years. I played, played guitar, did bass, all that. Um, and then eventually, um, I always had this duality where I liked rock music, metal music, and then I liked all the electronic, namely like happy hardcore and whatnot. And then about, I'd say, six, seven years ago, I finally decided, hey, I've done everything I want to do in the rock and metal world. Let's go over to this other side and see what else I can do. And it's been treating me great so far. Kind of like Shrillix. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, he was part of the metal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of like that, like where you do one side and then you go to the other. Yeah. yeah. So um, your music is a blend of happy hardcore, hardcore, and jungle. How do you blend that all together, especially make your own mark on the EDM world? Um, essentially, I try to find a common uh, uh, point, mix out point with every you know track that I can do in a way that it's going to be energetic and still... Uh, interesting where like it'll like samples or different like if it's a pop remix or something something that'll really keep the crowd engaged um, so I've just been really working pretty hard to make sure that I can do all that while remaining you know somewhat uh, uh, sensible in the mixing yeah um, and again like I said I'm, I'm kind of a uh, EDM guy but I'm not I've never heard too much jungle so that would be a new genre for me to listen to so you'd like to play at uh, anime cons what has been one of the fun ones to perform at as compared to clubs uh, honestly, my I, I have to go with the hometown pride and uh, say Yumacon in Detroit. Yeah. Uh, the crowd, the energy is unlike any con that I've ever done, and even some of the you know even club shows. I mean, they they just they they're just vibing the whole night and just <laughs> roaring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they're very interactive and they they just they're really into it, and I, I love that. It's unlike anywhere I've ever done. <laughs> All right. So uh, when you're coming up with a new track to work on, where do you draw your inspiration from? Is it a particular artist or more like a different type of medium that gives you inspiration? Um, it can really come from pretty much anywhere. I mean, I've had tracks come for, you know, one of my first tracks that it was a Chrono Trigger remix. Yeah. And it's just because it was the 21st birthday was coming up and I wanted to do something for it. But then on the other hand, I was going through settings on one of my uh, synths and I found uh, one that I'm like, hey, that works with this beat. I'm gonna make an entire track built around it, so it could be literally anything. You know, it just it just has to be the right moment. It clicks, and I got to do it. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, I I like it when everybody draws from everything. So it's kind of it's kind of sounds like you do too. So since EDM, you know, has become a lot more popular within the uh, last uh, ten or fifteen years, and then if you remember the good old '90s when happy hardcore was taking over, and the early 2000s was really picking up. How do you feel about that? Being a fan of that dash that, and then coming up through now is where it's more on the radio for like real radio um, really uh, for hardcore uh, particularly it's been really great to watch the evolution of it right. but the fan base still has that same vibe for, I mean for the people I hung out with in the late 90s they still feel and act and love the music and community the same way they did back then um, but then to also see like you know especially in the past couple of years uh, with more popular genres being mixed in with hardcore and just seeing it expand I mean it's unlike any other genre that I, it's just everyone loves it and everyone is just so supportive of each other and you know I'm really happy to be a part of it I say my favorite uh, happy hardcore is happy hardcore by scooter that's actually one of my favorites oh man that's that's beautiful yeah, I mean, yeah I still have it on my iPod. Nice name drop there. Well, he's, he's a good guy. I like, his, yeah. I like his stuff, and I've kept up with him, actually, since the 90s. Oh, so, awesome. yeah, he's a really good guy. So what has been one of your favorite places to perform other than Yomacon? But we're we'll, 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 we'll biased towards Yomacon. So any other place that you've had a really good soft spot in your heart to play at? Um, actually, it was the most recent one. I uh, went out to San Francisco for Hardcore Till I Die, and I ended up playing uh, the after party for the main show, and it hit me in such a way that I wish every show came out that way because everybody out there uh, has this loving and like energetic vibe to them and I I can't wait to get back out there like I, I'm looking at my schedule it's like that's not California that's not California which one's California <laughs> I say I'm actually from San Francisco so yeah it's a really fun town actually it's really really fun everybody's super super nice yeah. so that's the best part so um, Animatic Con this year is all about villains what would be one of your favorite villains that you would love to do a song to, other than Darth Vader? Because I know you did that Darth Vader one. Mm -hmm. Frieza. 
Frieza? Absolutely, Frieza. Like, just because of the sheer malevolence of him, or just because he exudes that, like, confidence of, like, I'm going to dominate anything in my path? Uh, yep, and, uh, actually, second answer is something that I'm currently working on is, uh, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> just because, I mean, what, what more can I say about Monica? It's... She's manipulative and scary, and you don't expect it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have something coming out pretty soon with her. <laughs> All right, man. So um, again, this year Animaticon is also about raising awareness for autism and charity towards that. So how do you feel about that? Um, I'm very very happy to see something like this uh, come about in the con community because there there are a lot of members um, in this community, and then even you know in in mine that you know they do you know have these conditions, and it's great to see something that is this size that they can feel safe in and that they can feel that this is for them so i'm really happy that this is here and i'm happy to be a part of it sweet man i'm glad you could come out and enjoy the enjoy the event tonight so um how can fans keep up with you online and what message would you like to get out to the fans that have kept up with you and giving you love and support uh, you can find me mainly on my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com, uh, uh, E underscore tank. Um, and message for everyone that's been supporting me is keep doing it. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, you, you've done amazing things for me the past five years, and I can't wait to see what all we can do together. All right, man. Thank you so much for coming out and talking with us. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely.